Hello and welcome back. Let's take a look at a more intricate implementation of ER diagram using different relationship types for a customer database system. This is the structure of the database. It has four tables or entities, the customer, other, line items, and address table. The customer and other table has a zero to many relationship that is one customer places zero or more others and the other and line item relationship is a one to many relationship that is one other contains one or more line items the customer to product relationship is a many to many relationship that is many customer purchases one or more products and then also the customer to address relationship is a one to many relationship that is one customer uses one or more addresses let's see how we implement this in our mame js code we start with the er diagram keyword to indicate we want to do an er diagram Let's implement all the entities, all the table. So we'll start with customer and the customer table contains name, ID, and email. The name is a string, email is string, and ID is an integer. Let me just swap this so that the ID will be the first item. And then we have another entity. This time I'm going to call the other entity, which contains the other ID and then the date the other was placed. Then let's have the line item table or entity, which will contain quantity and price. We also have the product table, which contains name and costs. And lastly, the address table, which contains the street and the city. If you have noticed, there are five tables or five entities altogether. Um, product is also part of the entities. Now let's start joining them together. Between customer and other is a zero to many relationship. You can see here, one customer places zero or more orders. Now let's do that in our markup. So I'm going to come here and say one customer, that is customer, and then do double pipe to show that is one customer, then dash dash, which means relates to zero or more. The more is the open curly brace bracket, a zero or more relationship with the other so you can read this relationship as one customer places zero or more others so i'm going to put the comment here as places places and so you can see it illustrated here the relationship between order and item is one two more that is one other contains one or more line items let's illustrate that here so for order and line item i'm going to come here and say one other relates to one or more line item i'm going to pick the line item here and then put the relationship label it's going to be called contains so you can see here one customer to multiple others and one other to one or more line items Let's have another relationship where many customers can also buy one or more products. So I'm going to say many, which is close parentheses and a pipe. And then the relationship is many customers can purchase a product. And then I'll put the relationship label has purchases. Depending on what implementation you want to go for, you can say many Customers can purchase many products and so you use an open bracket here and with that you're going to have this But for us, we just want to have many customer can purchase one or more products And then the last relationship is the address where we we'll say only one customer Can have one or more address So I put the address here and then have the uh, relationship label as uses you can see how we're able to put all this together in our diagram and also properly able to define the relationships between the customer, the other, the line item, the product, and the address. And understanding the flow is pretty easy because one customer places many others and many customers can purchase a product. One customer can have one or multiple addresses and one other can have one or more line items.
you can check out my full video tutorial on Udemy titled Mastering Mamet JS Diagram, Chart, and Data Visualization, which teaches in depth course on different Mamet JS diagram and chart implementation. Check out the link in the description for more details.